Good afternoon, Mr. Khan. How are you today? I'm good. So you had your second appearance in court, room 506. You sued the Law Society of Upper Canada. Yes, and here's the documents. And what does that document say? So basically, today was our second hearing. I sued the Law Society for... They, had, they got a document from an embassy during my investigation. And I am not here to contest the paralegal license. I don't really care for that. But my point is they took that document and then they disappeared. The Could investigator at the Law Society disappeared. And please explain what that document is. It's a diplomatic bag receipt that they ordered or they demanded for me from me to get it. It showed that I sent money overseas for research on a dental case. And one more thing I'm going to say today in the courthouse, it, it was, a, it was a, a show, a monkey show, you could say, a dog and pony show. They made me jump around for an hour, but the decision was already done. It was already written. And today it got dismissed with a, with a cost of, uh, I believe, $11,000. But my point is, these courts are not what they are supposed to show you. They, they don't do anything for the public, like they didn't do anything for me. And they raise the issue of collateral attack. I'm not attacking the Law Society's decision. I don't really care. But my point is, it's a diplomatic bag receipt that they took and it was sent directly from the embassy and to this day the investigator has been removed or she's in hiding you could say and the judge told me to sue her you know how am I gonna sue her when she was at the Law Society I don't know her address I don't know where she lives I have never seen the person to this day and you know what this is a scandal this is how poor people or people with no resources are targeted and then they are convicted I was not convicted. This is a civil matter. It's not a criminal matter. Therefore, my conviction, you could say, is not. It's a civil matter. But my point today was that the judge seemed to be influenced. That's all I can say. The rest, I don't know what else. So the, uh, the document that was given to the investigator Yes, at the Law Society of Upper Canada. Embassy, yes. Which embassy was that? Pakistan Embassy. Okay. And she declared, the issue is she declared that these, that that government is a terrorist government, therefore their documents are not valid, which is a huge diplomatic breach. And I did everything I can, but unfortunately I was not successful. But there will be another lawsuit. I will be providing another lawsuit against them and hopefully we will come to a conclusion and I will take this matter to the highest court. Okay. I will. So, diplomatic bag receipt and by the missing. Way, the, yeah, and the lawyer... And, and the courts did not want to investigate further. That is correct. And the funny part is that the courts did not know what is a diplomatic bag receipt. Well, the lawyer... The lawyer did not know either. And even the judge asked the same question to him. So, none of the courts ever understood what is that diplomatic bag receipt. People, countries go to war for that. And I really felt that this courthouse right here, it is just a show. There is no justice in there, I guarantee that. Well, there, it seemed like the judge already had made up his mind even before you stepped into the courtroom. Yeah, the decision was already made. That's yeah, that right. Correct. Yes. Decision already made. Uh, Fees were already made too. Made too, yes. Everything was done. And you know, it's a beautiful show that they put up. Uh, you know, they, they, sh they say that the steps and the rules has to be respected. There is no such thing as that. That's what I found out. But anyway, it's a good thing. You know, there, it gives me another chance to take the matter further. And I will take the matter further. But you can see a billion dollar courthouse. It's just a show. That's right. Well, thank you for your time. You're welcome. And... Let's see what happens next time. Thank you.